गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर रश्मि जोशी सावलकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जूलॉजी श्री आर एल टी कॉलेज ऑफ साइंस अकोला फ्रेंड्स वी आर हियर फॉर द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ जूलॉजी ऑन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ फैसिला हिपेटिका इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द जनरल कैरेक्टर्स फीचर्स ऑफ फैसिला हिपेटिका now today we will study the digestive system of fasciola hepatica so friends let's start fasciola hepatica digestive system dear friends digestive system is the system in which the food the animal eat can be digested into simplest form and some organs are responsible or form togetherly the system so in fasciola hepatica the digestive system have an incomplete alimentary canal without the anus so as you know that helminths or uh, protozoa porifera cilenterata and helminths that is platyhelminths and eschelminths are primitive phyla and after evolution in the further phyla the complete systems get developed but here it is the primitive phyla and hence the digestive system is incomplete it consists of the following parts number 1 mouth pharynx mouth pharynx esophagus and intestine so these four parts shows the digestive system or functions in the digestive system so first we will revise the classification which we have studied in the previous lecture to so classification of platyhelminths phylum platyhelminths class trematoda order digenia family fasciolaudi genus fasciola fasciola and species is hepatica so friends in the question for 12 marks we have to start our answer with the classification first after giving the classification then we will switch over the system we have to study or we have to write okay now see the diagram of digestive system in the previous lecture we have studied the complete structure of fasciola hepatica it is a flat dorso ventrally flattened animal and leaf like structure whose anterior part whose anterior end is triangular in structure and the lower posterior part is somewhat narrower as compared to the posterior uh, sorry anterior end total 3 openings in the body of fasciola we have studied the first one is mouth the second one is gonopore and the third one is excretory pore these all openings are present in the diagram here now let's start the digestive system of fasciola hepatica so the first part of the digestive system is the mouth friends see diagram beside the right side mouth it is a small triangular aperture found at the anterior tip of the oral lobe it is a small triangular aperture which is present at the anterior tip of the body of fasciola hepatica and this triangular opening or mouth is surrounded by this oral sucker mouth is surrounded by oral sucker now the second part of the digestive system is the pharynx friends as the food enters in the mouth it is propelled or proceed proceeded into the pharynx the second part is pharynx so the this black color structure total complete uh, with orange color strips is the pharynx muscular pharynx 
and the narrow tube inside is the esophagus. So, the mouth leads into a narrow but very thick walled muscular pharynx. The pharynx wall contains radial muscles and pharyngeal glands. See, these radial muscles functions as the suction pump for sucking the food from the host body. That's why the pharynx wall is thick and radial muscles are present over there. Then pharyngeal glands, we have seen here the that uh, pharynx also contains pharyngeal glands. These pharyngeal glands are the glands which secretes the digestive enzymes which helps in digestion of the food. Now after pharynx let's see the third part and it is esophagus. Now friends the triangular opening is mouth which is surrounded by oral sucker. This mouth leads into the narrow tubular structure which is covered with the pharynx which is thick walled and muscular in nature. After pharynx the narrow tubular structure is called as esophagus. Esophagus is the organ which connects the pharynx to the intestine. It is the small tubular structure. Pharynx leads to a very short tube of esophagus. The esophagus has a single cell thick wall. Now the last structure or organ which is the part of digestive system is the intestine. Now see we have seen triangular mouth uh, surrounded by oral sucker which gets converted which gets into the pharynx and esophagus and this narrow esophagus above the in the anterior part of the body above the gonopore gets bifurcated into two lateral limbs the intestine get bifurcated into the two lateral limbs the right side and the left side and these two lateral limbs go through the complete length of the body till the end posterior end and here the blind end of the intestine is seen. Now let's see the structure. Esophagus continues into intestine which is the largest part in alimentary canal. The intestine is immediately divided into two branches called as cecum or intestinal limbs. Each cecum runs up to the posterior part of the body and it end blindly. Along the whole length, both the cecae give many lateral diverticula. Along the length, both the cecum gives part, gives, gives or get developed into the small outgrowth finger-like projections and those are called as diverticula. As these all diverticula are present on both the lateral sides, of the body, hence they are called as lateral diverticula. The diverticuli of outer side are larger. The diverticuli of outer side are larger as compared to the internal side and branched and complex while that of inner side are short and simple. So friends, this is the complete digestive system of fasciola hepatica and we will revise now in the next slide. First we will see how the digestive system functions, how the feeding and digestion took place in fasciola hepatica. So the first point is fasciola suck bile, blood and lymph from the bile duct and rasp tissue pieces with the help of oral sucker. Now see we will first see the previous slide. See here the oral mouth which is guarded by oral sucker and gets and get continued as into the pharynx. So this pharynx and this oral sucker helps the food to enter into the mouth and work as a suction pump. The sucking 
organ work as the sucking organ or suction pump after the food enters into the mouth this pharyngeal radial muscles propels with the help of contraction and relaxation propels the food into the esophagus esophagus proceeds this food into the bifurcated two branches of intestine which we called as intestinal limbs these two intestinal limbs are present to the complete body length of the fasciola hepatica these intestinal limbs get divided into the branched structures which are called as cecia or cecii these cecii shows the finger like projections to the lateral sides or body wall of the fasciola hepatica these finger like projections are called as lateral diverticuli so so here the oral sucker and pharynx act like a suction pump for sucking the digestion occurs in the intestine see friends the mouth enter the mouth is the opening through which the food enters the body now after entering of food the oral sucker and pharynx functions as the suction pump which suck the food and propel it into the esophagus the esophagus then the digested food is distributed by the diverticuli to the intestine the digestion occurs in the intestine then after the food entering into the esophagus it is proceed or propelled into the two parts of the intestine bifurcated two limbs of the intestine here the complete digestion of food takes place this digested food is distributed by the diverticuli all the finger like projections of the cecii which are called as lateral diverticuli these diverticuli functions in the distribution of food to all parts of the body is the function of lateral diverticuli the undigested waste material diffused out into the surrounding by parenchyma by parenchyma besides these some simple food for example glucose and fructose are directly absorbed from the host body fluid so friends here we have studied the digestive system of fasciola hepatica now this is the pencil sketch of digestive system which will help you to draw in the easiest form so the first is oral sucker mouth oral sucker this is pharynx this is esophagus then these are bifurcated two lateral limbs of intestine intestine the intestinal limbs get branched in the form of cecii or gastric cecii these gastric cecii again shows some finger like projections which are called as diverticuli or lateral diverticuli this is the blind end of intestinal limb here the digestive system closes and at the posterior end here is the excretory pore so friends i think you have now understood the structure and functions of digestive system of fasciola hepatica thank you for lending me your ears